What's up, where you guys know I had to drop this video, man. I'm doing it last minute. You know, I just got back from a boxing session. It took me longer than expected. I met some awesome people, but hey, man, I cannot go without dropping a YouTube video because this is how, you know, people get, uh, you know, get that, that help that they need. They get that knowledge that they uh, that they need so they could push forward in life. Anything, you know, that that's of... Uh, you know, that's going to help you better yourself. Any tip, any jam that, you know, some, you know, some of your coaches or any mentor or anybody that, you know, you follow on IG or any platform, you know, um, you know, it, it's our job, you know, to uh, put out content, to uh, put out information, to put out knowledge that's going to help other people. So that's why I do it for, I do it for others because, you know, a lot of people, that's, that's why they quit. Because, you know, a lot of shit comes their way or, or they get bombarded with a lot of tasks and they're like, oh, the, the first thing that goes out is, you know, oh, man, I can't do no content, man. I was so busy, you know, and, and man, I ran out of time. I didn't have no time. I could easily just, you know, come up with an excuse. There is no excuses. Even if this one gets dropped a little 30 minutes later, you know, from my normal time, you know, I have to give that, uh, you know, give back to my people. So that's what I'm here for. But I'm going to share Three tips that are going to help you for 2024. This is what I used on myself and I used on a lot of my clients. So this right here, these three tips are solid. These three tips are unbreakable if you follow it to the T. If you do not let anybody come and persuade you or, you know, pressure you with, uh, you know, indulging in, in uh, old habits or indulging in... Uh, you know, pleasure chasing, you know, or, you know, just de letting them derail you from the plan. Okay. So first of all, you gotta, ha you gotta have to, uh, get a plan. You know, I'm not saying you have to go get a coach or a mentor, but you have to have a plan on hand or you have to go and, uh, plan your, uh, plan your month. You know, you gotta plan do it monthly. You know, don't start planning, you know, the whole year because then it's too much for you. So plan month by month. So this month coming up, New Year's Day, you have to have a plan on hand. You have to write it down. You have to put it, you know, in, in your your fridge, in a notepad, or when you wake up, you have it right next to you. You know, the plan that you have to uh, hit for the for the week, for the month, for the day, However you want to break it down, but make it, you know, uh, monthly. Do not put too much variables where you're going to just wake up one day and see your list and it's going to be like so overwhelming and then you're going to make it impossible because you fucking wrote a long ass list that uh, you're easily going to get discouraged. So make it monthly, you know, so every month, you know, you're going to make yourself proud by uh, actually you know, pulling every single step that you have. So you got to make a list every month. This is what you have to do. You have to make short goals. Short goals are going to help you uh, get the momentum going. Everybody, you know, they, they make this grand vision of themselves of uh, some good goals. They're good goals, but they make them so long and so far that uh, at a certain point, they start losing uh, momentum. They start losing motivation that everybody's going by right now. So the best bet is like do it monthly, every month, short goals and uh, get the momentum going. You know, like I said, you know, you got to you got to set yourself up with the plan, you know, and, and second, you know, it's like I would recommend hiring a coach or uh, a mentor that's actually, you know, have that, that has results, you know, that's what I had to do. You know, a lot of us, you know, we, uh, we lie to ourselves. We think we know it all, our pride, our ego, it's going to stop us from, uh, you know, asking somebody, you know, or, uh, hiring somebody. Nah, man, you got to bet on yourself. You got to invest in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, you ain't going to better yourself. There's no way you're going to talk yourself out of it. Very few people pull it off but you have to like, oh man, it, it, it's a battle. It's a battle within yourself. And I'm not saying it cannot be done. It could be done, but nine out of 10, you're going to convince your mind of something that your heart knows is a lie. And the mind's so powerful. Let me tell you, the mind's so powerful, the influence that 
you know, that's around you. It's, it's also powerful. Uh, a lot of times, you know, people, they get influenced real easy. But when you have a coach, you always have somebody to resort to. You always have somebody that you could go and uh, ask for advice or uh, ask for their, uh, their opinion on, on, you know, on, on what you're thinking of doing or what happened, you know, like get their uh, feedback. You know, so that's why a coach is so important, you know, and, and once I, once I did that for myself, oh man, it was a game changer for me. It's the best investment that I ever done because, um, look where I'm at now, you know, I'm living the life of my own design. You know, I actually got the results that I was looking for many years that I couldn't do it because I always came in every year. I always came in with the plan in, in which I'm telling you guys, but you know, there's so much shit that happens and there's so much shit that you get, you know, uh, distracted by. If your plan ain't solid, oh man, it it's easily, easily, you know, um, you're, you're going to, you're going to fall, you know, you're going to fall. You're going to deviate from the plan. It's not, it's not concrete. It's not solid. And plus you haven't even done it. So you're not even sure you're already, and you know, not, you're already not too sure about it. You will start fucking creating scenarios in your head and you'll talk yourself out of it. You know, nine out of 10, you know, there is those rare ones that actually pull it up. I'm not going to say no, there is those uh, rare ones, but nine out of 10, believe me. So that's second tip, get a coach, you know, and third, third tip, don't be around people that are going to drag you down. Stop being around people that you know they're going to, they're bad influence. Stop trying to please people. Start reading people. Start looking at people and absorb all their energy that they have. Like pay attention to it. If that energy lifts you up and is good, then man, you know you're in good company. If they're always dragging you down, if they're always pulling you away from what you got to do, then they got to go. You got to drop them. Put your feelings aside. Put all these emotions that you have and all this scarcity of losing a friend. If they're not riding with you, if they're against you, they're not your friends. You got to just put a block wall and just, hey, you got to make some changes. And if it's dropping your so-called friends to create a better life, then you got to do it, you know, and a lot of people are afraid to do that because uh, their friendship or they're afraid that they're not going to have any friends because they push them all away because they're all bad influence or they're doing, you know, what they're uh, doing every year, which is a whole lot of nothing but wasting time and killing themselves slowly with all the bad habits that they have. And believe, believe it or not, you're not going to be strong enough to... Uh, to push forward because they're always going to drag you back. It's happened so many years. I even got pulled back most of the time, you know, with uh, bad influence or the people that I uh, hung around with, you know, very few people pull it off. But most of the time, sometimes you might be happy. You might do it out of happiness. Yeah, fuck yeah. You know, everything's going smooth. I'll crack a beer with you. And then here you go, slowly regressing, you know, and it could be in happiness. It don't have to be in misery. It could be in, ha it, you know, it, it, it it, it tricks you. It tricks you into thinking that, hey, you know what? I could handle it or I could have that. You know, I'm more in control. And then next thing you know, fuck, here we go again. Back to where you used to be. See how easy you get pulled back? It does not necessarily have to be done in a conniving manner or in a in a manner of like, uh, you know, them trying to like really uh, mess up your game plan. It could be all just in the moment, in the moment of like, you know, any, any happiness or any, uh, celebration that happens, you might even get, you know, pulled into that, you know, without even know, knowing. And then next thing you know, you're, you get a setback. So like I said, third tip that's so important have your vision locked in tunnel vision on your goal. And don't let nobody come and try to derail you. You stick to the plan. Always the way that you're going to find out is always resorting back to your core beliefs that you have concrete, the plan that you had. If, if going out to that function, if going out to that meeting is going to derail you from the plan that you had at hand, then hey, say, no, thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I cannot, I cannot make it. Stop saying no. Start saying no. 
That's what I meant to do. Start saying no. Draw a line. That's how you're going to push forward in, in life. Hopefully this video uh, is going to help you guys kick off the, the New Year's right. Remember, you know, you got to come in with a plan and execute that. Second tip, get a coach or a mentor that's going to help you, you know, which is a lot uh, better for you. Invest in yourself. Third, stop dropping all the negativity, all the negative friends, all the negative people that are just going to drag you down. Drop them. Start saying no. I cannot go. I'm doing this. Start saying no and believe me, you're going to get ahead on life before you know it. Let's run it.